Question 15. Our recipe calls for 3 and 2 third cups of flour. If you double your recipe, how much flour will you need? Okay. What does double mean? If you double something. And let me just give you a quick, um, an easier problem. If a recipe called for 5 cups and you had to double it, what would the answer be? If you double the recipe, you'd need 2 times 5 to give 10 cups. Do you agree with that? Right? So in our case, we've got to double the 3 and 2 thirds, don't we? So we need to multiply it by 2. Now 3 and 2, thir two thirds is the same thing as 3 plus 2 thirds. See that? So we can go 2 times 3 plus 2 thirds, right? And what we're going to do is in fact the distributive property. We're going to double this, right? So we can go 2 times 3 is 6 and then 2 times the 2 thirds. And that would be 2 times 2 thirds. But we can write the 2 as 2 over 1, right? So 2 times 2, multiply the tops, 4. 1 times 3 is 3. So we have 6 plus 4 thirds. Now, we now got to put this, write this, as a mixed number. 3 into 4 goes once, remainder 1, so 1 and 1 third. So 6 plus 1 and 1 third makes 7 and 1 third. There's another way of doing it. If we didn't want to use the distributive property, we could have converted the 3 and 2 thirds into an improper fraction. Okay, what's that as an improper fraction? 3 times 3 is 9, right? 9 plus 2, so you go 3 times 3 plus 2 over 3, which gives 9 and 2, 11 thirds. Okay? And so we could simply go twi twice 11 thirds, right? which is like 2 over 1 times that, which gives 2 times 11, 22, over 1 times 3, 3, which gives what? 3 into 22 goes 7 times, remainder, 3 into 22 goes 7 times, remainder 1, 7 and 1 third. So either way, the answer would be 7 and 1 third.